Ooh, this is a sweet one. Boom, check that out. Ooh, yes. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel and you're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we go over everything EDC gear here. Today I got another package to unbox for you all. That's right, we're gonna be getting into a brand new knife in the channel, so I'm excited for that. This knife came in as part of Left Lefty EDC's knife pass around. So I'm excited about this one because it is a brand, a company that I haven't seen yet. And I'm excited to, you know, learn about their knives, see the style of knives that they do and stuff like that. Keep in mind, there'll be affiliate links for this knife and any other knife you see in the channel. Those affiliate links are down below and they do help out the channel when you use them, but that's entirely up to you. Doing the honors today, we have the Vosteed Raccoon, this awesome EDC knife right here. This one was sent in to the channel by Vosteed to unbox and review, and so far, it's really been a blast. It really is everything that everyone has been hyping it up to be, so I'm excited to be doing the review on this guy here very soon. Let's go ahead and make a quick cut right here. Oh, that feels like a good spot to make a cut right there, and got quite a lot of tape going on on this one <laughs> let me see I'm gonna try to do it here all right make a cut right there boom and yes I know it is upside down just bear with me I don't need to make any other cuts not not really I realize my address is on the other side so I'll be taking everything out from here all right packaging tape and everything and boom check this out oh we got Quite a lot going on here. Okay, looks like two knives. Let's see what this other knife here is all about here, shall we? Now this one didn't come in a box. It came just in this bubble wrap. So let's see, let's see what we're working with here. All right, ooh, this is a sweet one. This is one that I've been looking forward to for a while. If it is what I believe it is, guys, we are in for a treat. Let me guys, let me let you guys take a closer first look at this bad boy. Ooh. Very good impressions right off the bat. It feels pretty light, pretty light, not heavy at all. Yes, we are indeed talking about the Tuya Knives Mutt. This is the Mutt right here from Tuya Knives. Another debut here in the channel, absolutely. This one here is the very first one from Tuya Knives that we get a chance to check out. And I am right off the bat very, very impressed. So <laughs> let's see, we got some... All right, where is my magnet when I need it? I have to just go searching for this thing. Okay, so we have titanium handles going on. We got a titanium backspacer going on. We have, yeah, the hardware is stainless steel, but titanium otherwise on the handles and backspacer. Check out the insert. These are raised inserts here. Fat carbon, I'm loving the design here. Got some dark green, light green, some yellows going on there, a hint of blue or you know a, a different type of green in there. Like this is a very, very good looking fat carbon for sure. It feels nice in the hand. The fit and finish here as far as how that inlay looks boom that is money right there and a very nice pocket clip right here titanium mill titanium pocket clip as well that is good it's a flipper and looks like we can reverse flick and thumb deploy this bad boy so without further ado if you guys are ready i'm ready let's get, let's get this thing open here shall we boom check that out all right let me give it a nice little wipe of course it's a little bit dirty give me one second Give it a nice little white Peru here, shall we? And again, keep in mind this knife has been making its rounds to the knife pass around, lefty knife pass around, so it has seen some use indeed. But yeah, let me get it nice and polished for you guys without having to break, <laughs> without having to take out the, you know, breakaway CLP. All right, I think that looks pretty good. There we go. Check out the bell satin finish on this thing. Oh my goodness, All right? Bell satin finish going on here. It looks like a, feeling a little bit of a hollow grind going on here. Yeah, that is a hollow ground going on right there. The satin, bell satin finish looks really good. It is S90V steel, which is a very good premium steel going on there. And I love, love, love the finish on this thing, guys. Take it all in for a moment. The design on this thing is just what the chef ordered right there. Nice. 
So a very Warncliffe looking sheep's foot style blade. I love, love, love this style of blades. If you're uh, a fan of the channel for a while, you know uh, one of the blade shapes that I love the most is a Warncliffe or a good sheep's foot. Uh, I see CM right here and that makes me feel like Colin Mason Pierre. That might be one of his designs going on right there based on that CM logo. I'll confirm and let you guys know. But if that's the case, man, this is a beautiful, wonderful look design so far so yeah let's see as far as employment options again you got that flipper going on that flipper feels good good amount of pressure on the detent right there boom that will fire every time let's test the thumb deployment all right good thumb deployment there all right so gotta you know kind of calibrate myself to the knife but once i do yeah that feels really good there boom yeah so the thumb deployment is good what about the reverse flick Boom, that reverse flick is also pretty good. All right, check that out. Let's see, one more time. Bam, guys, check that out. That feels, boom, good on the money right there. I can put my, my nail right there on the spot and bam, that fires really good. So very good drop shotty action also. All right, check it out. It is a frame lock, but what's interesting here, I mean, I wouldn't call this a liner lock, but this is more a frame lock, right? Notice how, you know, still looks like your typical frame lock, even though the fat carbon inlay covers it a little bit. The stress relief cutout is on the inside, and that's just pretty good. That's money right there. More companies should probably do the stress relief on the lock bar in the inside. That's nice and flush and tucked away. Alignment on the blade, even after some use, you guys be the judge, right? All right, that looks like spot on the money. All right, let me see. Right there, you guys let me know. It looks pretty aligned right there. And man, the fit and finish on this thing, uh, I'm not sure on the price. Again, I'll be linking this knife below. It may or may not be available as of the time that you are seeing this video, guys. That is just how it works with knives sometimes. Some knives are production knives and they're gonna be available for a long, long time. Some knives are gonna be limited runs, limited drops. So I'll try to link this knife down there for you if it is available for you to check it out. Keep in mind when you use those affiliate links, those do help out the channel at no extra cost to you with that in mind you got two milled in lines going on there on each side so it has a little bit of a sort of like a slip joint aesthetic to it i like this little crest metal piece in there that is uh stainless steel but again the fit and finish on that is really really good you guys so take a look at it right there i mean honestly i'm very impressed with the overall design and am i seeing washers here or am i seeing ball bearings what what is going on i want to say it feels like okay these are washers yeah they are washers but honestly this one here okay i'm trying to get a good slow thumb deployment but that's a little bit challenging because of access to the blade cutout so perhaps just thumb deploy it all the way and i want to say this one look, feels pretty broken in because for it to drop shut you know with a couple shakes it actually does pretty good check out the detent all right got a nice little click to it yeah, and it's pretty well tuned. Again, I'm going to try to fail. See, I could, I guess, if I really don't try, I could fail the the flip, you know. But again, honestly, as long as you put any amount of effort, you're going to go ahead and get it deployed. That is no problem. And it also helps for the thumb deployment and the reverse flick as well. So honestly, really, really good design. Feels comfortably. Let me see, let me get a feel for the ergos here, right? So feels pretty good in the hand. It is a medium knife, so I have medium hands, not the biggest, not the smallest. And it feels like I can grab the knife pretty good there. Obviously, I'll be carrying this knife, getting a feel for it over the next upcoming few days. But man, some jimping here on the spine would have been welcome, I think. Perhaps they try to keep the design more elegant or so by not doing any jimping but you know we always appreciate some jimping as we see here on the growler it has plenty of jimping going on so jimping is always welcome if you maybe you just want to do a few lines right that's always appreciated but i can see them going for a more elegant design overall on this one the pocket clip is not reversible so maybe they make a lefty version for this guy i'm not sure as a righty i mean i can appreciate a cleaner design on the other end but you know what's another extra hole on this side how much more difficult would that have been you know to make it reversible that would have been you know small small nick pick but it would have been a nice to have for my lefties out there deep pocket carry not the deepest pocket carry but it's pretty pretty decent 
as you can see there about that much of the knife is going to show out of the pocket because of where the actual top end of the clip is located and other than that again i like the weight on this guy i like the weight a lot so pretty lightweight honestly those are my first impressions on it let's see 3.3 ounces right 3.3 ounces honestly i'm willing to bet it's probably as light as let's say a g10 elementum right that's a 2.8 ounces something like the core charlie there we go i knew it was one of these two so it weights as much as a Kershaw leak. All right, so that, if that's any comparison for you, weight-wise, boom, there you go. <laughs> that is the quality unboxing material that you can expect <laughs> in this channel, all right? Giving you some ideas here on stats and stuff like that. So yeah, let me do some quick size comparisons, right? Here is the Devo Nip and the Devo Growler. We just unboxed the Growler uh, as well, so get a, get an idea there. It's in, in the medium range, so smaller than the Growler. Definitely bigger than something, uh, you know, as small as the Nip right there. All right, let's do some of the usuals, of course. Let's do the PM2, it's from Spyderco the pair of three so a little bit smaller than the pair of three actually so take a look there for yourself uh what about something like a demco 8020.5 on the shark's foot blade it's actually a tad bit smaller than that might be pretty comparable to the slicer blade on the new shark cup yes yeah, a matter of fact boom take a look it actually is the same length same same overall length as the shark cup for the most part pretty comparable what about the Rat Model 1? All right, obviously that's gonna be pretty large. Is it more comparable to the Rat Model 2? And yes, it is. Yep, it is more Rat Model 2 territory than anything. So can this thing cut, All right? I bet this thing is gonna be doing some damage. Let me get a feel for the blade here. All right, the edge feels like it has all right small neck right here keep in mind again this is not brand new out of the box this has certainly seen some use it's fair share of use of course so let's get some paper out here let's see how well it does get some scientific paper cuts going on all right so yeah i might need a little strap but still can do some cuts all right let's see yeah it was, it was still slice yeah still slice that's like a champ yeah, and this is what I mean by a more straight edge. You can do longer cuts with it, right? Because you don't have you don't have as much belly here as you do with the growler. And that hollow grind with that satin blade satin finish, man, that thing is savage looking. All right, rate it on a scale from one through ten in the comments. Let me know how sharp is the knife, how much of an edge it has to retain. Does it need to be struck? You guys, let me know. So yeah, it can definitely do. All right, there we go. <laughs> it can certainly do paper. There's no doubt about that. How's it gonna do with some cardboard? All right, let's see. Remember when cutting cardboard, guys, remember to cut not perpendicular, but at an angle like that. And here we go. Ooh, yes. Wow, that thing is a slicer. Wow, cardboard who? Where, where? Where? <laughs> R.I.P. that cardboard because it is history. Yeah, this thing is a cardboard destroyer. Absolutely a cardboard destroyer, no doubt about that. Let's give it a nice little wipe right here. Yeah, very, very impressed with this guy. I knew this guy uh, was out there. I have been really looking forward to EDCing it here, having it in the channel for you guys to see. Man, am I impressed with this thing already off the bat. And it can definitely put in work. It is elegant, nice and good to carry oof the drop shot action right there is money wow what a knife what a knife you guys so first impressions of course are uh through the roof i'm really impressed with this knife i'm excited and you know this thing is going right in my pocket this thing is going right in my pocket after this video is over well there you have it guys there are the two knives we just unboxed first the devo growler super impressed with this one and here is the tuya mutt 
right the mutt right here boom this thing is super super elegant what a piece what an elegant edc right here this thing is money i'm excited and looking forward to edcing this knife as well guys you guys already know the drill i'm gonna be edcing these guys for quite some time for a little bit expect those review videos here in the channel very soon if you haven't liked the video by this point guys smash that like button right it really helps out the channel a ton to come up with more and more videos like this for you guys in the future if you're on your way out make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can always see quality knife content like this on a daily basis if you want to take your support a step further check out the patreon link down below where you can support the channel for as little as one dollar one dollar a month if you made it to the very end guys chances are the review for the msi is already live in the channel this thing is a truck a beast of a knife from microtech with a ram lock so check out that video next. If it's ready, I'll put a card right here for you guys to check it out. Thank you guys for hanging out with me until the end. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.